Okay, this is uh, Chrome Mini Division Break Full Case. I have uh, in the order of signage, Dennis, Dennis, Ricky, and then uh, John signed up for a half of a spot, which is two teams, and I filled that other two teams later. So we'll go through that in a second, random-wise, um, which is a half a spot each, basically. They're basically sharing a spot. Um, I golf um, at number five, Alan number six, Von Fisher number seven, and Scott Stacy with the last spot, number eight. Um, so let's go to random, unless somebody has a question. I'll explain that split spot, too, in case you guys uh, had a uh, question. First, let's roll the dice. Where'd my dice go? We're going to go eight times on scrambling up those names. We will give a little time to see if anybody wants to trade or something. We got everybody in here, so we might be able to do that a little bit. Got eight there. Again, uh, we're going to do what we always do. We scramble up the names. Randomize the names, I guess, would be a more professional way of saying it. Uh, we'll do this eight times, and then we will do the same thing with the divisions. Match them up, and that's the divisions. Um, we got Dennis, Dennis, Ricky. Now, Jonathan and Jay Rodney are the split spot. Um, how that works is the same as it always works. Um, it'll be like you guys are together right now. You guys will get a random division. Then once we hit that random division, we will uh, split it up between the two of you. Every division has four spots in football, so they'll each get two teams. Uh, kind of actually a fun way of getting in a break. Cheaper spot with two teams. Sometimes I've had somebody do one and a half spots like that too. So um, I golf, Allen, Vaughn Fisher, and Scott Stacy. So we're going to randomize it eight times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll do the divisions next. So the random order here for the names would be Ricky in the one spot, Dennis in the two, get the split spot in the three, Vaughn Fisher in the four, I golf in the five, um, Allen in the six, Scott S in seven, and Dennis in the eight. Okay, let's go to the divisions. Eight times there. Five and three is eight. This time we're going to go seven times. Six and a one and seven. We have eight divisions here. AFC East, North, South, and West. NFC East, North, South, and West. Um, and we're going to go seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, and final time. So after seven times, we have the AFC West on top. Number two is NFC West. Number three is the AFC South. Uh, number four is the NFC South. Number five is the NFC East. Number six is the AFC North. Number seven is the AFC East. And number eight is the NFC North. And that was seven times. Six and a one, seven. So I'll go over it one more time. We have Ricky in the one spot with the AFC West. Dennis has the NFC West. Uh, the split spot, which we'll do the next, is the AFC South. This is for the divisions for the full case. Vaughn Fisher, 
is for NFC South. iGolf has the NFC East. Allen has the, let's see, was Allen six? Allen six has the AFC North. Scott has the AFC East. And Dennis in the last spot has the NFC North. So we'll do, is Rodney uh, in the room? Yeah, it might be tougher to get, Bazzy. We'll see, though. We're going to do it in a second. No, okay. Okay. Um, what we'll do, um, what I'm going to do is, um, let's see, the four teams that get split up, are the AFC South. So that's Jacksonville, Indianapolis, um, the Tennessee Titans, and the Houston Texans. So Jacksonville, Indy, Tennessee, and Houston. Um, Okay, Alan. Alan, I'll post to YouTube right after it's done, okay? Um, Jonathan, do you want me to pair them in twos, or do you want me to do all four random so you can have any of the four? I can do it either way. I usually ask both of you, but um, um, do you want me to pair it in twos? Do you want me to put, like, Jacksonville? There's not really a clear one, two, three, four in this. I would probably put Jacksonville first, but Indy, Tennessee, and Houston are all very similar in value. Okay, I'm going to do it completely random, partly because there's not really a real bad or a real good in the division. All four are very similar, so let's just do all four random. I'll do that right now. Whoop. This won't take very long. So we got Jacksonville, Indy, Tennessee, and Houston. Um, so Jonathan, you signed up first, and it doesn't really matter. It's all uh, it's all random. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to random the four teams. And you're going to get number one and two in the spots, okay? And Rodney will get three and four. Okay. We got a five and a four, so we're going to do it nine times. I'll repeat it again, too, because Rodney may watch this later, but I think he understands what I'm saying. Um... So here's the four teams Jonathan and Rodney are randomizing between. We got Jacksonville, Indy, Tennessee, and Houston. Hold on a second. I usually put in alphabetical order. So I'm going to stick with what I always do. The divisions I put how they put in the paper, but when I list teams, they're always in alphabetical order. G H I J K T. Okay, I can see me putting it actually wrong in alphabetical order. Okay, so in alphabetical order, we got Houston, Indy, Jacksonville, and Tennessee. I'm gonna go nine times. The team on the one spot and the two spot is Jonathan's. Teams on the three and four are gonna be Ricky's or Rod J Rodney. I'm sorry. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninth and final time. So Jonathan on the lots one and two are going to be Jacksonville and Indy. So Jonathan has Jacksonville. And Jonathan has Indy. J. Rodney has Tennessee. And J. Rodney has Houston.
they are very even teams. Jacksonville might be slightly better than the other four, but price-wise, I price Indy, Tennessee, and Houston almost exactly the same. Houston's actually been selling better for me lately. But we're done with that. Let me go nine times. Five and a four is nine. Okay, I'm going to give uh, you guys five minutes to trade or buy or three to five minutes to trade or buy or anything like that. I'll set up here. Unfortunately, Bazzy, believe it or not, the person that has the Tennessee is the only person not in the room. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I know that's that that's crazy how that worked out. But he's not in the room. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's like uh, Carolina is uh, in the room. Carolina's NFC South. Which is Von Fisher. AFC South is a really even division as far as value this year. I'm going to go ahead and crack the case open. We'll get the boxes ready. Hey, I golf. Are you in the uh, room still? Do you want me to save you Jacksonville for Crown Royale and Prism? Six boxes each. They're not. It's not that expensive, but I figured you might. I think they're about eighteen and twenty-two or something like that, or eighteen and twenty-four. Okay, I'll send you an email with the prices. Uh, Scott, what about Scott? You in the room still? You want the bangles on them, Scott? Okay, I'll email you on that too. I got kind of a late start on them. I'm going to do them Thursday, and it's already Tuesday night. So I'm going to try to sell as many teams as I can tomorrow and then list some on eBay. Uh, Ricky, if you want Cleveland. <laughs> well, uh, I golf is uh, actually both those guys are unbelievably consistent with buying teams, so I appreciate that. I try to give them first crack since they're so consistent with it. I'll give you, a, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll offer you a few uh, teams. Von Fisher, were you the um? Did you at the Vic or the Raiders last time in the uh, Prism? Yeah, I saved them for you. Um. If you want a Crown Rail team too, let me know. But I saved the Raiders for you. I'll send you an email on them. Okay, I will do that, Dennis. Um, Ricky, I'll send you an email on Cleveland. Any other team you want me to send you an email on, Ricky, tonight? Vikings? Okay. I'm going to write these down. I'm going to do this first thing after this break's over because i got to get a move on this these breaks. I'm really late on them. It's, in Iowa, it's been 75 degrees, so the daughter and me have been riding, riding bikes around and having all kinds of fun stuff with the nice weather. But it's put me a little behind on the work. Ricky, Cincinnati, Jacksonville, Vaughn Fisher, Oakland. Dennis, New England, 49ers. <laughs> What's up, big time shimmy? We've been doing, uh, we got all the divisions set. We're ready to go. There wasn't any trades, was there? Anybody have any trades or anything? I don't think there was, was there? If there was, let me know. But otherwise, I didn't see anything. Let's get going. If you guys want to, um, Dennis and anybody else, uh, after this break, if you guys want to um, 
If you want to Raz on any Bowman Draft or Crown Royale or Prism Football teams that I have later in the week, we can do a couple. I actually have a couple of good baseball teams for tomorrow night I could Raz, but they're a little more... Nobody bought Seattle yet. That's a good team in Bowman Draft. Good luck, everybody. We did a division break last week in this, and it, it wasn't our best case. We've had better. There was a few good cards. The, the first couple cards were the best, I think. But we've had some great cases in this stuff before. Let's hope this is one of them. Yeah, it was, it was a poor case. I agree. Not a good one, Dennis, to have two spots, two to three spots in. I do have a few draft teams to that I could. Um, no, no division break in draft. But I have a few teams I could raz. I'm doing. Uh, a full case of Bowman draft tomorrow night, but it's full. It's by teams, not not divisions. Bowman drafts went up about one hundred and fifty dollars since I bought it last. Not well since about a month ago. Went up one hundred and fifty dollars a case. You know, I tried to convince um, our friend JB to buy ten cases because JB has no wife and kids, so he's got extra money that he's trying to figure out what to do with sometimes. And uh, unlike me, and uh, so I, I, we were at Eaton about a month and a half ago, and I'm like, seriously, Bowman Draft is the cheapest price it'll be in his existence. It always does this. They make a decent amount. It starts out cheaper. I'm like, buy 10 cases of that, and I guarantee you make 10 to 20% within two months. And the, and he, <laughs> and he, uh, and he, um, he said he thought it was a great idea, but the only reason why he wouldn't do it is because he'd open it all, and he doesn't <laughs> he doesn't trust himself to have ten sealed cases in his in his house. What's up, Rob? <laughs> I will, Dennis. There, uh, there are sometimes. Well, I mean, I, I follow cards enough that there are sometimes I can tell cases have nowhere to go, but uh, this was one of them, too. I, Chrome Mini, when it first came out, some of you guys were here when it first came out. I talked about how much better this was in the regular Chrome and how it was at a cheap price because because Chrome ruined its value. But that evened out. I mean, it's $180 higher than it was at that point. There's some that are I can tell are going to do the opposite, too. But there are some good ones. Bowman Draft is usually one of them. Bowman Draft is probably the best product to invest in of any sealed case product. How'd the first how the work going there, uh, Rob? Box one, Grinkowski Refractor. Oh, we got a printing plate. That's kind of strange, isn't it? Good. I'm glad to hear that, Rob. Is it autographed? It is not. Right away, we got a printing plate for the Miami Dolphins. Arthur Lynch. For the Dolphins, I need to grab some sleeves. <laughs> that is the other thing of Bowman Draft is is uh, baseball stuff is always undervalued during the off season for for prospect stuff. I mean, 
I, I don't I didn't see Bryant going up this much, but I knew Bryant was going to go up some in spring. Now he's went up incredible amounts, partly because he hit nine home runs. But I think even if Bryant struggled a little bit in spring, or if he was just okay, he still would have went up. Tony Romo insert. <laughs> yes, we had an Arthur Lynch printing plate. Dennis already booted. Not our best printing plate. Adrian Peterson, 1,000 yard club. Hey, I golf. If you're second in the uh, basketball, who's first currently? And do you have any shot to win? Is first place somebody named Big Time Shimmy? All right, we got a camo auto, first auto. Not sure. Josh Evans. I'm not sure who that is. I'd have to look. First autograph is James White. God, he's been following us around lately, hasn't he? For the New England Patriots. Running back for the Pats. Camo 49 of 99. That is a Scott Stacy Parallel Auto. Oh yeah, you definitely got a chance then. How come I don't recognize Josh Evans? Jimmy Grant insert. <laughs> Go. All right, this is a variation, I think. I'm pretty sure that is. It was turned backwards. A variation of Giovanni Bernard for the Cincinnati Bengals. Aaron Rodgers Refractor. Well, we got a few different items in the first box. Our names weren't as good as they could have been. But we got a variation, a printing plate, and a camo auto. Brandon Cook's insert. Oh, did you buy a team, Bazzy? Jordan Matthews insert. Just send me um just send me um a th a three dollar goods payment and that'll cover all my uh, shipping and everything for the one team. If you want to wait to see if you get something big though, Bazzy, you can. And if it's just common cards, I can hold them until the next break. Whatever you want to do, it's your choice. Keenan Allen, Vaughn, did he buy the uh, Panthers from you then? Keenan Allen, number 30 of 102. Okay. Let me write that down. I like to actually put that in bold print because I've actually made that mistake of still sending the team. So Panthers to Bazzi. All right, cool. Sounds good. <laughs> That's a hell of a deal. Brandon Coleman Refractor. That is going to be box number one. We got a one of one, a parallel auto, and a variation. I'm a little bit sick of seeing James White for a name on the auto. Even though being in New England, you never know. The kid may end up actually playing a little bit someday. 
from Wisconsin. Nah, we'll get something better than the one of one there. Uh, Arthur Lynch for the Miami Dolphins was the printing plate. Hey, ba uh, Shimmy, I thought you were on vacation this week. Uh, the plate was yellow. Oh, that sucks. Well, I hope nothing for bad reasons be in there. Oh, ankle surgery. Well, I hope he uh, is doing better, man. That will mess up the plans, won't it? Out playing sports and do something, or what happened? Hope he feels better. Definitely. My daughter can have a slight cold and my wife is freaking out. Oh, God. Where's your partner in crime tonight? I texted him earlier, but he hasn't got back to me yet. Box number two, guys. Good luck. Oh, okay. Isa Abdul Kudis. Don't remember him from regular Chrome Refractor. There's the auto. Got a base auto for a second auto. I think I know who it is, but I'm not completely sure. Yep, I was right. Aaron Murray. For the Kansas City Chiefs. We've hit his auto a few times. He has a very nice signature. I'd like to see him get a chance in Kansas City. He's a definite hold. Russell Wilson, any quarterback that hasn't gotten a chance yet that you think might be able to do okay is a guy... You probably hold a little bit if you get something tough of him, especially Anthony Barr. <laughs> the wife here works a great. <laughs> Number 23 of 25, Austin Safarian Jenkins. Out of 25. Oops. Logan Thomas die cut. Jason Morrow insert.
Out of 102 for the Atlanta Falcons prism, Devonta Freeman. <laughs> Zafirian is his maiden name. You are correct. Last group of box two. Eric Ebron Refractor. Adrian Peterson insert. Go on, one more card turned around. Out of 99. Connor Shaw. And that's two boxes. Be right back. I'm going to grab a thing of top letters. He's working. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about, Shimmy. The UI Children's Hospital is real is a probably the biggest children's hospital in Iowa. It's pretty close to where I live and man. You think you got it rough going there. Can't imagine going through some of that crap as a child. All right, box three. Oh, did you? They go good, uh, Dennis. What'd you, uh, what'd you get for it? It's crazy what some of those redeemed redemption cards go for, isn't it? But a collector wants it in their collection. Some collectors, I mean, sometimes. It's not always. Once in a while, they go crazy. <laughs> yes. Never be ashamed for selling something somebody's willing to pay for it. <laughs> I mean, if you, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you put redeemed in there, I'm sure. They know what it is. They bought it for that reason. They know it's not unredeemed. I mean, it's obvious. Yeah. I mean, they know what they're buying. It's not like you're tricking them or anything. I wish you still had the regular one, Dennis. Yeah, they, uh, I don't think they uh, ever, um, ever basically get away with it, Dave, though. I see, I see that, though, that, that's actually, uh, I never thought about that angle, since the actual number is gone, they try to mess up the number so it looks like they have one, but it wasn't readable. That's kind of crazy. I never thought of that angle. Yeah. I have not got any more black gold yet. I tried to get some this weekend and the price was just too much. And NT is next week. So I'm just going to wait till next week and do National Treasures next week. Next week, um, National Treasures and Museum Baseball comes out. Two very fun products. They are both expensive, and I hate it when they come out the same week, but usually both of those products are very popular. Tomorrow night, we have Bowman Draft, full jumbo case. I have about 10 teams left, or 14 or something, including a few good ones, or a few higher ones. They are all they all can be good or bad, but a few higher dollar ones. And then Thursday, I'm going to do um, six boxes of Prism, 
and six boxes of crown. I'll get those in the store tonight at some point. And that'd be it. I got to take off for grandma's or mother-in-law's, depending on how you're looking at it, early Friday. Card out of 99. Jordy Nelson. Hey, Gene, what's going on, man? Yeah, I've sold some of them, Gene. Brian's nuts right now. Jordy Nelson. Um, NT and Museum Baseball was the other one, Gene. Museum Baseball. Jarvis Landry die cut. <clears throat> D'Anthony Thomas insert. The autographs are all right side up, so I'm trying to go slow so I don't fly right into it. It's a nice parallel card. This guy's starting to get a little bit more traction. Carlos Hyde for the 49ers. That's out of 102. LaShawn McCoy insert. Show me a super auto right here. We got some sort of parallel insert right here. For the New York Giants. Beat Beckham. That'd be a solid card. Nope. Andre Williams, number 34 of 50. Uh, Tribute Baseball was recalled, Dennis. Tribute Baseball was. Because of the autographs, even though there's still some out there. You didn't have to send it back. It's like basically an option. Pierre Garçon Refractor. Gene, you're going to... uh. Well, I don't know if you'll have time. I was going to ask you, Gene, if you're going to try to go to the Iowa Cubs and watch Bryant before he's gone, but he may be up before you get a chance. I know Jason wants to. Camo George Atkinson. I don't think Bryant's going to be in Iowa very long. All right, we still got our third autograph left here. I keep hoping I get some color, but I'm not seeing it. There's some refractors. Okay, this is the auto right here. It's either a refractor or a variation. Nope, nope, it's not. Sorry. Check that. Thought it was. Jimmy Garoppolo refractor. There's the auto right there. For the Cleveland Browns. Money Manziel. That's a pretty tough card, I bet. <laughs> Been hitting Cleveland better in breaks. Who is the proud owner of the AFC North? That is Allen, and Allen is sleeping. Congrats to Allen. Nice card there. Yeah, it would be nice to get the refractor. That's that's a good card for the third case, though. 
I'm kind of curious to what that we, we're going to get a super somewhere in here. I had incredible cases early on, though. I had more than one incredible case. I had two or three that were just outstanding. Third box is better, though. Let's see if we can't build on that. Aaron Rodgers insert. That's probably a pretty tough card there. George Atkinson Refractor. Three boxes done. Uh, the reason for that, Gene, is, is ordering. Like in Topps Chrome, it's really, they really didn't do anything different for either one. It's just everybody ordered the regular comb and nobody ordered the mini. So. You, they make a ton less, so they still have all these parallel autographs and need both of them. But in Topps Chrome, since they made so much, they filled it with all these crappy base autographs. I mean, you got the parallel autographs, and then you got all these base autographs, you know, that fill it up. And, and those were, you know, the guys you get over and over. And so it drowns out the tougher autographs. And on this stuff, they didn't near, make near as much, so you get so many parallel autographs so often. It's just a, uh, it's partly tops and it's partly just people's reaction towards tops Chrome. People bought it over and over and over thinking it was the past years it had been so good and they didn't limit production at all. Kind of reminds me of like the late 80s baseball, you know, in late 80s baseball, middle 80s and early 80s were so good that everybody's like, I can order as much as I want. It's going to be good no matter what. Well, then everybody has a bunch, nobody needs any, and everybody's trying to get rid of it. <laughs> That's a bad situation, especially when it's a crap product, you know, where they put in tons of common autos. It's tough to get a really tough card in regular Chrome. Yeah. That's always a dilemma for me, Gene, when I'm ordering, is you got to kind of think, you know, some products are no-brainers that I want, like top base, some baseball, but some products I try to really think about how other people are going to order it so I know how much is going to be out there. Because how much Tops actually makes is such a big factor in how good a product is. And I order like six to eight months in advance. I mean, I order... Like in Topps Chrome Football, I ordered that probably six months before it was released. So I have, uh, so it's a guessing game. Late 80s and early 90s were rough. That's called the investment phase where everybody got into cards thinking it was the greatest investment ever. And Tops and Downrust and those guys said, yeah, I'll fill the order. Fifty thousand cases? Sure. Let's make it. <laughs> That's called print to order. Whatever they order, we'll make. I think 88 Downrust Baseball was the most overproduced product of all time. There was so much of that product. I contributed towards it. <laughs> no, 88 Downrust was uh, blue on the outside. Yellow was 91 Flare. Yeah, basically every 88 through 92 Donruss was produced in dramatic numbers. And Tops wasn't much better, and either was Flair. I mean, it's it's pretty much universal through there. 89 Upper Deck was a little better, but they still made a lot of 89 Upper Deck. All right, box number four. 90 Leaf was a little better. Colin Kaepernick insert. I 
out of 99, Jordan Cameron. Camo. Don't be looking at the nurses, Shimmy. Clay Matthews Refractor. <laughs> Do you know how much crap Freddie would be giving you for checking out the nurses in a children's hospital? <laughs> Brandon Marshall. Of course, he'd be hypocritical because he'd be doing the same thing. Robert Quinn Refractor. To 99 for the Indianapolis Colts camo Dante Moncrief. Oh, we are on the board, boys and girls. It's harder to see because it's an insert. But that is a super fractor right there. That is a super fractor. It's just, it's an insert super. Not going to be an auto. I don't think. I shouldn't say that. I don't know that 100%. But I don't think they had autos like this. Good luck, everybody. It's a 4,000 yard club, so it's a receiver. No, 4,000 yard club is quarterback. Sorry. God, can you imagine this would be Brady? Man, Brady would be monstrous in this. Scott will be bouncing off the walls. There's a lot of good names this could be, though. That's a good one. Superfractor Peyton Manning. Oh, Brady was already pulled. Peyton Manning. I was trying to I was trying to think good thoughts for you there, Scott. Peyton's pretty good though. There's that one of one. No reason why we can't pull a second one. You guys have seen it before. We pulled three in one day earlier in the year. That's a sweet card. Who's the owner? I don't see anybody going crazy. That's AFC West. That's Ricky. That's you, Ricky, right? Wow, Ricky, I've been on a hot streak for you lately, haven't I? If you guys didn't see it in Tops last week, I pulled Ricky a Sandy Koufax auto. Brady's on eBay. Okay. Congrats, Ricky. That's called good karma for buying your friend a spot tonight. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> Ricky's had a couple nice cards lately, though. The Sandy Koufax was nice. Did you get that in today, Ricky, the Koufax auto? Still got our auto in this box. Jason Morrow die cut. I think we have a pink auto there coming up. Bishop Sankey insert. It's going to be a good box of cards. Oh, really? Well, we got Peyton Manning has been pulled too. That's a fun card to hit. I'm pumped about hitting a super. Roddy White, Prism. <laughs> Sorry, ship. <laughs> A 
Cody Hoffman, Refractor. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, we got something for somebody here right in a second. Good luck, everybody. This is going to be a pink autograph. Oh, God. I could see it was a giant. Oh, my Lord. Andre Williams. You know, they made the same amount of pink autos of Odell and Andre. Just one time they could give me the other guy. 17 of 75. Still a nice card. I was rooting for those Giants there to be Odell. Nice card for iGolf. Good box cards. In box four. I think Andre Williams is a hold card too. He's going to get a shot in New York again. Box number five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The other Andre, too. Did you get that uh, Kofex today, Ricky? I didn't see if you said it in chat or not. It's a neat card. Yesterday. That's a nice one, isn't it? I like uh, those cards. Little piece of baseball history. Ricky, did I ever, since you're a Cardinals fan, did I ever show you my Stan Musial back? Oh. Well, I might not be able to tonight, but uh, tomorrow, it's me and Jason's. Tomorrow before the break, remind me if I don't bring it up. I got a really nice autograph stand, usual bat. It's actually half mine, half Jason's. We're going to get a case and put it on the wall, but... All right, box five. Let's see what else we can hit. I think I figured out what they did on Rodney's e-check, Ricky, on that. Because he, he had, uh, he sent me an e-check and then wanted to cancel it the other day on the break. And then he went back through in his e-check. I think on e-checks, they swipe it out of your account immediately. And then if you cancel it, it doesn't get reconciled right away. So I don't have the money. But he also, it looks like it's being going to be taken out of his account. So it kind of sucks. But I think it'll get all cleared up in a day or two after, uh, if you talk to him. I think, you know, on a credit card, they clear your money on your credit card right away, and then it goes through after that a couple days later. I think that's exactly the way it is with the e-check, too. They clear the money right away. So when you cancel it, it doesn't necessarily go away for the uh, buyer. Kind of sucks for him, though, I know. All right, box number five. Yeah, it's just a, a slow process. Takes about three, four days, I think. A little bit of color there. I didn't even see that super when I looked like this at the car. I did not even see it, partly because it was an insert super. Okay, we are on to box five. Teddy Bridgewater. 
Bridgewater's been selling good. Blake Bortles, a lot of items, Bridgewater's really not that much less than, um, than Odell. His value is holding up pretty well. He's got a good arm. I think he'll be a good Viking quarterback. But we will see. It's tough. Not that many good quarterbacks in the NFL. Austin Safarian Jenkins Refractor. These cards are so small. My thumb covers up the spot that I want to look for the auto. Refractor Michael Sam. Julius Thomas. Insert. Last stack. Looking for some parallel. I don't see it. Out of 102, Dante Moncrief, second Moncrief insert for the Colts. You know, I think this could have been luck too, couldn't it? Is luck in this set? Do you guys remember? Did he have 4,000 yards last year? That would have been a bomb too. No, he's not in that one. Okay. Ooh, we got a card out of 10. This is not going to be an auto. Because it's turned upside down. But it is a gold. Jimmy Graham. For the New Orleans Saints. Future Seahawk. That is the NFC South. We had a super fractor of Jimmy Graham earlier this year. Still got an auto. Wonder if it's a refractor here. It is not. Josh Gordon refractor. We've had a few Moncrief. There's the auto right there. That is the auto. Another Cleveland one. Terrence West. For the Cleveland Browns. He's way more common in the regular chrome. You get him like every case in the regular chrome. He's one of their filler autos. Had 100 yards and a couple touchdowns his last game. Or was that Kroll? One of the two, dude. I get him mixed up. And the rest of box five. Tom Brady insert. That's it. Got a gold there. And Terrence West. Box number six. I'll do a recap at the end of the 12. And post it on YouTube. JB will be back with me tomorrow night for Bowman Draft. For the full case. If anybody sees a team in my store in Bowman Draft that they want me to razz after this break, I'll do it. I think we got enough people in here that we could fill a couple of them. 
I know this is a football break and that's a baseball product, but I know there's a lot of baseball fans out there. Or uh, like Crown Royale, I can raz off the Giants or something like that. Fun. Next Monday is opening uh, day for baseball. I'm going to try to do a baseball product for it. I'm definitely going to try to razz a few um, NT teams on Monday night, though. Or Tuesday, one of the two. All right, there's box six. Let's see what we got in box six. Few things in there, can't really tell. Okay. Justin Gilbert Refractor. Got a card out of 25 right here. It is a pink. Shaq Evans, wide receiver, New York Jets. Drew Brees insert. We got a parallel card coming up here. That bluish parallel right there. I think that's one of the court. I think that's out of it's out of twenty five. It's like a blue wave. Jordy Nelson for the Packers. They have been for the most part. That's number zero one of twenty five for the Packers and the NFC North. Out of 102, Tyler Gaffney for the Panthers. Earl Thomas Refractor. Sammy Watkins. Odell Beckham Jr. insert. 
think our auto is again at the bottom. I think it's just the way I'm opening it. And the way they're in the packs. Oh, nope, there it is. We got an autograph for Jay Rodney, I believe. Yep. Autograph Zach Mettenberger. Starting quarterback. Well, I don't know if he is the starting quarterback for the Titans. Rookie quarterback would be a better way of saying that. Are the Titans going to go after the kid from Oregon? <laughs> I think Bazzi has a few Mettenberger autos, but he does like the Titans. Yeah, collected Jake Locker for a long time. Locker just went up and quit on him, though. Jordy Nelson insert. Out of 99, DeAndre Hopkins. I tend to get Mettenberger a little more often than Sankey lately. Hageman Refractor. And that is the end of box six. Box seven. I'll get everything out this week on Friday morning since I'm going out of town Friday afternoon. Anxious for baseball season to start. We did our fantasy baseball draft on Saturday. Jimmy, uh, Taewon Walker looks really good in the spring. You got anything tough of him in your Seattle collection? I'm assuming Shimmy's still with us. Last time we checked on Shimmy, he was he was uh, talking to the nurses. Yordano, Yordano was awesome in the playoffs last year. Okay, box number seven. Let's see a Super Fractor Auto right on the front. Hmm. All right. Out of 102, Pierre Garçon 
for the Redskins. Jason Morrow Refractor. There's the auto. There's a refractor auto for the AFC North. Martavius Bryant. It's not a big Bryant signature, is it? Doesn't he usually sign a little bigger than that, or does he always do the MB? You guys remember? I thought he did a bigger signature than that, but maybe he doesn't. Bryant's a good guy to have. 143 of 150. His chromes usually go pretty good. <laughs> he does always sound like that? Okay. Well, Alan, that's Alan's. Alan's done pretty well. Let that be a lesson for you guys. Hop in the room, get your uh, division, pay your bill, and go to sleep. <laughs> AJ Green insert. Johnny Manziel insert. Jadavian Clowney. <laughs> Joe Flacco refractor. Got a pair of a lot of 50. Drew Brees. Forty-five of fifty. Out of ninety-nine. Bishop Sankey. Camo. Tamba Ali, Refractor. Did we get the auto? Oh, yeah, we did. I was like, did we get screwed out of an auto? We got Martavius Bryant. That's box seven. Five boxes left. I golf, I, if, if you're still listening, I golf. I still have that Tanny Hilato of yours. I forgot to put it in your group last week. I don't know if I golf's in the room anymore. Yeah, I don't think he is. I'll email him. Man, if I don't put it right under their name, come Saturday, I'm in such a rush to get everything out. I forget. Oh, cool. Let's get a gold auto in this box.
Okay. What do we got here? Eric Berry, Pulsar, Refractor, Jared Abaderas for the pack, oh, there's our autograph. C.J. Fedorowicz for the Houston Texans. We've had pretty good autos lately. That one's a little bit of a bummer. <laughs> How many base autos have we had? Fedorowicz, Mettenberger, West... Money Manziel. As a... Is there any comps of that card on eBay? Did anybody look it up? I bet that's a really tough card. And Aaron Murray. Not as many parallel autos. Well, we might get a rush of parallel autos here towards the end. Will Sutton Camo. Marco Murray insert. Vincent Jackson refractor. Parallel rookie insert. Paul Richardson, 22 of 50. Got a variation card. I think, unless it's just turned around. Is that a variation of Wilson? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Nice card there for Seattle, or for the AFC West. Really? Average 50, yeah. They've taken a tumble, no doubt about it. I just wasn't sure how rare that card was, but it sounds like there's a few on eBay. Zach Mettenberger die cut. I want to get a gold Bridgewater in the next box. I haven't got a Teddy B tough one in a while. Tavon Austin. Oh, those are both the base. This is the stuff I haven't gone through. We've already got the autograph out of this box. Andrew Luck insert. That's all she wrote for box number seven. Or that was eight, actually. Box nine. Oh, were those all the full size ones? Oh, some of them don't have Money Manziel on it. We've got mostly AFC. Oh, really? That is a tough card. We've got mostly AFC autographs today. Have we got all AFC autographs? Even the Super was AFC. Uh, that was an NFC under Williams. That's it. All the other autos were AFC.
He's got to show a little something. He Johnny Manziel would definitely get hot if he started putting up some good numbers. The question is, can he put up those good numbers? It is honestly a little crazy at this point that he could be so doubted after one year. To me, that's an epic fail by the Browns. And you can't draft somebody in the first round that people would uh, people are going to give up on so quick. I mean, it just seems like he was more of a fifth, sixth round quarterback, maybe. Maybe not, though. Maybe they're right. All I gotta say is they can't give up on him yet. It's just like the Minnesota Vikings was with Christian Ponder. You gotta give him a shot if you spend the, that early of a pick on him. Ponder actually had a few good moments for Minnesota, but... Once they got Bridgewater, that was done. That's part of the problem with uh, with I agree. I, I agree more so on EJ Manuel. I think EJ. I, I definitely think the Bills should give EJ Manuel a shot. He never looked that bad. We got another gold in there. No Gino. I don't know about. It is different being in the pros, though, in college. I mean, in college, you watch college football, you can wait till your receiver's open and then hit them in that area. In pros, you can't do that. You have to be strong arm, leading your receiver. Manziel at Texas A&M, man, he'd fly all over the field, just make it work, you know. You scramble for a while, somebody's going to get open. There's no doubt about it. It'll be interesting to see. There's not that many good NFL quarterbacks. It's definitely hard to reach that level that... I think Andrew Luck has gotten two at this point, and a few others. We got some gold action. We got two golds in there, but neither one's going to be the auto. Isn't that weird? Look at that, guys. We got two golds, but they're both flipped backwards, so they're prob neither one's probably an auto. Because the autos are usually facing up. But we'll see. But we got two golds in here. Good luck. Out of 102, Indomic and Sue for the Detroit Lions, former Lion. Keenan Allen Refractor. Well, there's our autograph. Hopefully the golds will be good. We've gotten a lot of this guy in the break, haven't we? Dante Moncrief. What's up, Dougie? That's like the third Moncrief of the break. Probably got a future there with Andrew Luck throwing to him, I would think. All right, let's find these golds. Pretty tough to have, unless I was looking at it wrong. It looked like we had two golds in this box. Antonio Brown insert. Dougie, we hit a super in this case. Marcus Robinson refractor. Okay, here's our first gold. Going to be number four of ten. Uh, uh, insert of Peyton Manning. I'll show it again in a second. First time I show these guys is gold. Be a top rookie like a Bridgewater or something like that. A Benjamin or. Yeah. 
It's a good rookie. Defensive, but Khalil Mack should be a good Raider, I would think. It's a nice looking card. Doug showed up right for the Khalil Mack. That is the AFC West, and that is Ricky. I think there's one more in here. Don't hold it to me 100% because that's weird to have two golds in one box, but I'm pretty sure I saw gold again. I already hit the auto. Carlos Hyde insert. Trey Mason insert. Refractor Tom Savage for the Texans. Matthew Stafford insert. Okay, I was not going crazy. It's another card out of 10. This one's 7 out of 10. The way it's going tonight, I'm thinking Derek Carr. Not a quarterback. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Vincent Jackson. Evans would have been nice. Finally, an NFC card. NFC South for Vincent. Three boxes left. Got three golds already. There's the uh, super Doug. No, we didn't hit a car. We uh, we've just done that division's done really well, so that's why I was predicting a car. Yeah, we've got two golds from the NFC South, Graham and Vincent Jackson. Three boxes left. Pink there. After the three boxes, I don't really have anything else to break tonight. Um, but um, is that a red? I think we got a red. But if you guys want to razz off any Bowman Draft Jumbo full case teams or Crown Royale teams, we can do that. We do have a red there. 
I believe those are numbered out of five. I'm calling Teddy Bridgewater out of five. Um, this box right here, Bazzy, and then these two. So three total. Car to five would be pretty cool. I'd love to see it in any of those bigger names. I'd love to see a red on this side. That would be fantastic. All right, first parallel is Kendall Wright for the Tennessee Titans out of 102. Refractor Silas Red for the Redskins. Okay, card out of 25. Out of 25, pink. It's not going to be an auto. Does look like a quarterback. Oh, man. Jacksonville quarterback Stephen Morris. Man, I saw you write Bortles. I'm like, I'm going to hit him a Bortles right when he writes it. Stephen Morris. <laughs> Definitely. Another quarterback. It's a roof. Is that just a refractor or what? Just the regular 4,000-yard club or refractor or whatever. It's not numbered. Matthew Stafford. God. Autograph. Troy Nicholas. Let's hope the red is good. <laughs> no, Eric, I haven't seen him for about four or five days. He works from, I'll see him tomorrow. He works from uh, Saturday to, I actually saw him Saturday. But I haven't seen him since then. Des Bryant insert. Refractor Deshaun Jackson. All right, let's get to the red. We got our Troy Nicholas out of the way. Big boom for Dennis. All right, this card is numbered one of five. One of five. <laughs> he has before. Red, red, just be somebody that we all like. Well, we mentioned him earlier today. E.J. Manuel. It is a quarterback. That is for the AFC East. E.J. number one of five. Got a little bit left of this box. Tom Savage insert. Andre Williams. Mario Williams, refractor. A 
Alshon Jeffrey insert. And I think we got base after that. Base, base, base. All base after that. Two boxes left. <laughs> Jay Lockett Smith. All right, let's make this interesting, Shimmy. Let's uh, do a $5 side bet on which box is a better autograph. This box or the next one? I'm going to let you pick. This box or the next one? Dennis wants in. <laughs> Best autograph. Well, super will dominate. You win. A, you get a super, and you win automatically. Super is like the instant prize. <laughs> I try to do a small five dollar bet, and Dennis wants to amp it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dennis. I'll I'll uh I'll bet with you too. <laughs> All right, five dollar side bet, Dennis. You want this box or the next one? Shimmy's taking. Shimmy's taking uh, this box. If you take this box also, then I got ten dollars on the next box. If you go to the other box, then I'm I'm breaking even no matter what. Scott's saying the last box. You taking this box or the next one, Dennis? This box, all right. I'm not allowed to bet more than 10 bucks, so I can't do any more bets. <laughs> Ricky's taking box. Ricky wants the box three boxes ago. Oh, we got a gold in this one, too. Gonna have four golds in this case so far. All right, Dennis and Shim, the bet is... Whichever box has more, the best autograph. No, we'll just say the best card. That way, supers are included. eBay value. Best card in the box. I got the next one. You guys got this one. They're kicking you out. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll get best auto, Dennis, but uh, but supers count. If you get a super non-auto, that's an automatic win. Otherwise, it's the best auto. All right, let's see what you guys have. This is Dennis and Shim's best auto box. Jimmy Garoppolo insert. Cody Latimer insert. Out of 99, Isa Abdul Kudos. I'm sure that's not how you say the last name. Oh, we got a pink auto in this one out of 75. I'm in a little bit of trouble. I'm in a little bit of trouble. Good luck. Make it Odell Beckham and I'm just done. 
Nope. Bruce Ellington. I'm still in it. He actually goes for a little bit. You're not, you've not lost completely. 74 of 75. That is for the San Francisco 49ers. NFC West. Here's a gold. It's a rookie too. Rookie gold. Oh, and Ellington Pink. Rookie gold. Eric Ebron. NFC North. I truly can't believe we've hit four golds. We could have definitely done better on the names, but we have hit four golds. Next box is going to be a monster. Jamal Charles insert. Steven Tuitt refractor. Devon Street refractor. You guys are on the board for eight bucks. Yeah, out of 10, Shimmy. Sweet. Those golds are very collectible. That's why I was wishing we had a little better names, but I guess you can't be picky. Demarius Thomas, instead of Vincent Jackson, that would have been nice if that was Mike Evans. Out of 102, our friend from Contenders, Trent Murphy, that was in every case of Contenders, <laughs> Luann, you have his rainbow, don't you, Shimmy? Brian Hartline Refractor, all right. Did it. All I got to say, Dennis and Dave, you guys are in a whole heap and load of trouble. Uh, Barry bought the Cubs tomorrow. Hey, they left Alex Jackson at camp pretty long, didn't they, this year? Dave? It seemed like he was in Mariner's camp up to the end. Really? How do you watch and hear this so well when you're at the hospital, Shimmy? Do you have a, uh, like an iPad with an earpiece? Or how's it work? Oh, you got your laptop? Everybody around you isn't looking at you trying to figure out what you're doing, are they?
I saw that Victor Sanchez had that boating accident. You're hiding in the corner. <laughs> I used to love the University of Iowa Wi-Fi. It was twice as good as anywhere else you could get it. Yeah, uh, Barry bought the Cubs out of the store about 10 minutes after um, I posted it. Okay. Just show me a super right here so I can be done with these guys. Yeah, maybe not yet. All right. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for filling this break up. This is the last box. I'll do a quick recap after this. And I will post it for YouTube for Alan or anybody else that wants to watch it. Jordan Matthews insert. Camo of 99. Lache Seastrunk. There's a card stuck behind this card. Oh, shoot. God, I thought that was going to be a bomb. It was truly stuck right behind it. Insert of Mettenberger. I had grand thoughts rolling through my head on that one. <coughs> Jamal Charles Refractor. <coughs> Excuse me. Out of 102, Brian Hartline. Show me some color. Refractor, Greg Robinson. <clears throat> Out of 99, T.Y. Hilton. Reggie Bush insert. Well, there's our auto. I got myself a base auto. I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Base auto of uh, Devonta Freeman. <laughs> Devonta Freeman. All right. I'm going to concede defeat. I was wasted away by a Bruce Ellington. Looks like I got a super hiding in here. Matt Forte insert. Antonio Brown refractor. God, I don't even have one more card turned around to give me a little bit of little bit of that's it that last box was terrible terrible let me do a recap real quick we definitely peaked with the Peyton Manning super
<laughs> Even price, I bet. <laughs> All right. Let's recap this. Um, Chrome football, I think, is the regular Chrome football might be all I have, Doug. Or, uh, Dennis. Or Donner's basketball. Don't have a whole lot. I got Bowman draft in, but I'm doing that break tomorrow. I'm trying to get some more of those sets. I got oh, so much coming next week, though. I'm trying not to get overloaded before next week. Okay, break. We got two variations. Bernard and Russell Wilson. Parallel inserts. We got Austin Safarian Jenkins out of 25. Got a printing plate of Arthur Lynch. Andre Williams out of 50. Carlos Hyde out of 99 or 102. We got four golds, which is weird. Best one probably was this one, Khalil Mack for the Raiders. Vincent Jackson. Eric Ebron. Jimmy Graham. Bishop Sankey out of 99. Drew Brees out of 50. Paul Richardson out of 50. Out of 25, we got Stephen Morris and Shaq Evans. Out of 5, we got E.J. Manuel. Out of 25, we got Jordy Nelson. And out of 1, we got a Super Fractor of Peyton Manning. Don't get many Supers, so that was kind of fun. Base Autos, we got Aaron Murray. Money Manziel. Now this one uh, is inscribed, which I think is different than a lot of his autos. It doesn't want to focus though. Here, I'll put it at the end and I'll get it to focus. Devonta Freeman insert. Troy Nicholas. Terrence West. Zach Mettenberger. CJ Fedorowicz. Dante Moncrief. Got a refractor auto of Martavius Bryant. James White Camo. And pink autos out of 75. Andre Williams and Bruce Ellington. And then finally I'll show that Money Manziel. I think there's some without the insignia and some with it. So that might help you a little bit. Allen on that card, but Here's the Manziel. And that is the break. I'll upload this baby. Tomorrow night is Bowman Draft Baseball. Um, still some teams left in the store. And Friday, or Thursday night is Crown Royale and Prism. couple real cheap six-box breaks.